Hey there, real quick, before I actually start into the episode that's been recorded here, I want to give you a lens to look at it through and kind of set you up. So on this episode, I'm sharing with you the things that I have planned mainly for the first quarter of 2024 in my business. Now, if you're somebody who's thinking about being a client of mine, you may think, why do I want to listen to this? Believe me, you want to listen to this because this may also apply to you. And if you're someone who is a fellow, you know, entrepreneurial woman, especially one with ADHD like me, and oh my God, this is the most ADHD episode I think I have recorded in a long time. More on that later in the episode. You want to listen to this too. I feel like this episode is a lot like what would happen if, you know, we were networking together you know if we hopped on a virtual coffee chat and we're sharing what's going on in our businesses right now what we're working on how we can help each other that sort of thing so look at it through that lens and you know for people who are interested in nervous system work in subconscious mind work being eft tapping hypnotherapy all of these things i like to use in my business these are exactly the ways that I'm going to make sure these things get accomplished myself this quarter. So this episode is kind of like me getting accountable, sharing with you what I'm planning on doing, and then understanding that I will be using the very things that I coach people how to do in order to accomplish these things. Because most of these things fall in that like 20% of things that I will procrastinate on or avoid, but they are things that truly move the needle in my business. So, you know, in a perfect world, I would simply get to wake up in the morning and enjoy all the things I normally do and then deliver my gifts in the form of one-to-one coaching, group coaching, you know, speaking events, that sort of thing. But... You know, it's like one of those things where you start thinking, gosh, isn't it enough that I'm a, you know, a hypnotherapist and an EFT master and have all these different qualifications and certifications. And I also need to do my marketing and appear like an influencer and a content creator and all of these other things, many of which I've been able to delegate to my team, but I do still have to show up in a lot of those capacities. Now, in a perfect world, I think I would still do this podcast too, because I love it and It's about doing the things that you love, right? But there are all these different things that go into having a business like mine. And I want to be transparent about that and share those things with you instead of just showing up as if all I do is coach people all day because there's so much more to this. And that is where, you know, all the ways that, and I hate the word time management because I do believe that we are the creators of time and that it's not to be managed, it's more a matter of prioritization. But the way that we look at our day and plan our day and all of those other things that I talk about become so very important so that we can get the outcomes that we want and live that life that we're dreaming about, create the income that we truly desire and be able to experience the feeling. It's the feeling state that we're always going for, right? And that feeling state being felt before we get to that goal is what actually gets us there. So just wanted to tee this up that even though this is a very like business heavy episode, it's all connected. So here we go. Hey there, and welcome to another episode of Becoming More Me. I'm your host, Teresa Lira Levine, and it's getting to be about halfway through January when I'm recording this. And I know for many people, that is a time when if you've made New Year's resolutions, which I can't say I did, I did happen to rewrite my visualizations, affirmations, all those kind of things that I'm pouring my heart and soul into right now around the new year, December into January, but it wasn't done because it was the new year. It's because I like to do those things about quarterly and it was due and this has been a really a really beautiful time in my life and business for reorganizing things so i wanted to kind of lift the veil on some of the things that i'm working on right now while i'm in this i don't know what really what to call it 
I'd love to say it's a slower time, but it's not. It's still a lot going on and a lot that I'm working on, but there's a lot of wheels turning, things that are turning over to new things and things that are coming to an end, allowing space for new things to grow. So it's more like this time of turnover and it's this kind of beautiful pause right now where I can look at all the things that I'd like to be different and I have the power to change them in this pause. Things like my schedule, things like how many hours a week I want to work, things like, hmm, I can delegate some more things because I have the time right now and delegation does take some time. And all of the systems that are going to support me in the new year. So I do always like to look at previous years for certain data and metrics when moving forward and also realize that moving forward some of that matters and some of it doesn't you know it's kind of like the beliefs in our head we have all of these beliefs based on things that have happened in the past but that doesn't mean that we can't create a totally different result in the present for the future so never closing my mind off because of the data but using it for what it's worth, and then creating my dream from there. So that's kind of the space that I'm in, figuring things out and really working on my own patience of not going full speed ahead, which I think was really well developed while I wrote my book last year. So for Becoming More Me, the business that I founded in 2020, Uh, And for those of you who are new to me or my work, I've been helping women for over 25 years, but Becoming More Me is the most recent iteration of my business where I combine nervous system regulation and hypnotherapy and inner child work and all of these other coaching modalities and breath work and visualization and this kind of magic blend of things along with intuitive coaching. You know, many of my clients say I'm a channel and I I don't deny that, but I combine all of these things in this business and it's been my passion since 2020. So I forget where I was going with that, but, you know, I like to look at where, where we're going and what I was wanting for this year was to be able to reorganize some things. So last year we had, like I said, we had the best year we've ever had. We, as far as, you know, the, the income and everything else, and that was amazing and felt great, but it wasn't consistent. So we had a lot of months that we, we brought in a lot of clients and, you know, it was fantastic. And then I started writing the book and kind of turned off selling and serving more people and things like that for the sake of writing the book. And then now we're in the position of, you know, working with the people that have come into us through the book and creating new products and programs and ways that we're serving based on this new dynamic that we created last year. So as some of you know, we just launched the most recent iteration of the Becoming More Me signature program. And, you know, last year I worked with people for six month periods of time, typically in one program. And now my program is broken down into quarters. And, you know, I I feel like one of the biggest things I can do to serve people is to help them do as much as possible in the least amount of time possible. And so we've condensed what we were able to do in six months into three months. And it's a lower price point than it was before. So if you've explored my programs before and you know, you're know you looking for a good time to get on board, it's gonna cost you less now and you're gonna get just as much out of the program in half the time. And I think that really shows some progress that being able to kind of condense time and create things that are more efficient and more productive that's always my goal as an adhd entrepreneur (laughs) so that's one of the things that's new and as we're getting that going i'm working on systems because 
for me, at least, I always feel like systems are a place where I can be doing better, whether it's the systems that I have with my team that works with me and the ways that they help and support me, or it's systems that we can automate and put into place. And we're in a really interesting time right now with AI. And, you know, I wanted to at first, you know, a year ago or so when I first started really learning about it, kind of poo poo it or whatever. But the truth is, it's coming whether we like it or not. And I found some really great ways to use it over the last year. And it's saving me and my team a lot of time. And we're going to work on it saving us more time in 2024. And that's something I also want to be able to help the people that I work with. I mean, I, I coach a lot of coaches and people who are looking for more time too. Our time is our most valuable resource. And when we can train technology to do things, geez, nearly as well as we do, we can get back a lot of time in being able to duplicate ourselves like that. So while I'm a huge fan of personal communication, relationships, relationship building, that's what my business is all about, you know, at the end of the day, there's only so much of me to go around. So we are building an AI bot that is going to be able to help answer questions when people are having conversations with me on social media, Instagram primarily. And I'm really excited about that because so often, and I don't know if this ever happens to you, but this happens to me, I'll be chatting with somebody and it's like one of those conversations where I'm like, oh gosh, I can help this person so much. And I have these resources I want to point them to and these suggestions I want to make. And, you know, I offer insight calls. It's a great time for me to get people on a call and to really be able to get to know them better and point them towards any of my tens of thousands of dollars worth of free resources and find what's really going to serve them best. And then I like won't answer the message for two or three days because I know it's going to take me five or 10 minutes at least to look up what I want to send them and to send a couple of voice notes or type things out or find links or whatever else. And so they go unserved until I have that clarity and time and focus to really send them what I know is going to serve them. The AI bot is going to make that fast so that if somebody is able to say what the issue is, it's going to be able to tell them, hey, read this article or check out this resource that Teresa has or join the community where she can do this for you or whatever. And that's going to really make it so that I can serve more people faster, which is what it's all about. You know, at the end of the day, it's like, how can I help more people become emotionally free to call their power back to, you know, close the gap from where they want to go and where they are right now, the transformation that they desire and the present situation. And I can do that with darn near any situation or circumstance as soon as I can be talking with somebody and know that they're ready and willing and able to invest in that kind of change. So AI bots coming. And you know, I'm curious what you guys think about that. Feel free to shoot me a message or an email or whatever. Teresa at TeresaLearLevine.com is my email. But you know, we are going to set it up in a way so that people know that they're talking with a bot or they're talking with me. I'm still going to very much be in my DMs and helping people that way and be present to that because I think that's really important and it's a vital part of my business and how I help people. So don't worry, bots are not like taking over the world or my account or doing my coaching for me, but they are going to help me to be able to serve more people. So I'm really excited about that. And I'm also curious how you enjoy these kind of talks about business when we do these on the podcast. I know this isn't the same kind of spiritual, subconscious, nervous system regulation kind of stuff that we're sometimes talking about on here. But I do think it's really important for people who are in my world for whatever reason to understand how and why I do business the way I do, what's coming. And I think it just exposes another layer, especially because like I said, I work with so many people who have their own businesses. And I think it's important to, to share these things. These are the kind of things that perhaps you want to be working on in your business too, or are looking for help with. And one of the little known things is 
that I help people with a lot of this stuff while we're working on those subconscious blocks and nervous system uh, issues and so forth. So it's just another thing that I like to bring to the table. And it's another way that I like to vulnerably share and also keep myself accountable to the goals that mean a lot to me in the present time. So those systems and you know the building of the AI bot and the, the other help that I can get my team providing are ways that I am leveraging for that financial consistency this year. Because I'm not writing a book this year. I have no plans for any major, major projects that are going to require me to essentially not be serving clients this year. So this is the year that I'm launching my community and really excited about that. Now, for those of you who have businesses, communities are amazing because they allow us to create monthly recurring revenue. And for those of you who are in my community, it's on a platform called School. And if you're not, come join us. It's a free community and there's lots and lots of amazing free resources over there. And right now I've just started doing weekly free coaching on different topics, which is a really cool opportunity to take advantage of. But the community program that I'm going to be launching is essentially a low ticket way to work with me. So there's the free community, and then I'm launching this low ticket group coaching community, which is something I have never offered before. And quite literally the least expensive paid way to get coaching from me several times a month. And I'm very excited about that because I love I love fostering community and I love creating relationships. And I know that while I have a beautiful community on school and lots of people that I, you know, I chat with and clients that have worked with me who stay in my world, the real relationship building and value, I feel like comes in those like Zoom calls when you have all those people that are kind of like like like-minded and on that mission of transformation and change they're together and they get to know each other. They get to know me. I get to know them. And there are just bonds that form in that environment that you can't create any other way. So I'm super excited for that, as well as the ability to have condensed my longer program into a shorter program. So from a business point of view, this allows me to be able to serve more people throughout the year because, you know, when you're selling essentially your time in exchange for currency, you only have so much of that that you can you know, leverage. So if I can serve more people in less time, then I have the ability to scale what I'm offering. And that's a good thing, right? So I'm really excited about that. I'm excited about the community. I'm excited about the systems. I'm excited about the new program. And I'm excited about revamping my website and my social media platforms. So just got new banners and things up on the social media platforms that have like banner pictures, but I have not yet tackled my Instagram. So in the coming month, you'll probably see some changes there that are really going to be able to shed more light on what I do and how I do it and everything else in a more oh, concise and pretty way than it's currently appearing there. So I'm going to be deleting a lot of the highlights that are on there that just really don't matter to anybody but me. Honestly, my highlights on Instagram are like photo albums to me. I love flipping through them. They have memories that are important to me, but I run a business on Instagram. So I need to keep that in mind and clean things up so that it speaks more to the amazing ADHD entrepreneurial moms that I'm here to serve and help and not just to the things that I love to see every now and then when I'm playing on my account. So that's something else that I'm working on right now. And um, I'm trying to think what else, what else can I share with you that's amazing, that's business related, that you might want to be doing too, and so on and so forth. Other than that, it's really just, um, you know, the work that my, my team does to help me to make sure that I'm consistently appearing in new uh, media 
podcasts, um, workshops, different speaking gigs here and there. That's a consistent part of my business and my marketing. And that I'm having amazing guests on my show that I love talking to and that I feel really help you guys. So I'm always open to feedback there. And as well as requests, if there's people that you're looking to hear from on the show, I'm always trying to find those people that are really going to help us all to become more of who we want to be in the world in so many different ways and that will just open up our minds and our hearts to the change that we're desiring. So that is a lot of what's going on. I am toying with the idea of a book club. So if you're thinking you'd love to read the book with me, Becoming More Me, Tapping Into Success, Subconscious Secrets of an ADHD Entrepreneurial Mom, my book that came out in November and is available on Amazon in Kindle, paperback, or Audible, my favorite version, then let me know. I'm trying to gauge interest. I I found myself trying to plan a 12-week book club at the beginning of the year, and when I was talking with my coach who helps me with business and sales, I mentioned that I was just not feeling it. And he said exactly what I was about to tell him, which was, don't do it. <laughs> he said, we can find plenty of other ways for you to serve your community. And if that's not feeling aligned, then no need to do it. Uh, it felt good and validating to hear it from somebody else because I was ready to not do it. But since then, I've thought of maybe just like a three week or a two week book club with just a couple of meetings and just dividing the book into some segments and going through those segments. And that, that feels light and airy and fun. And, you know, my, my words for this year, if I look up at my wall, are abundance, intention, simplicity, fun, flow, pleasure. And at the bottom, it says hearts and packs because that's the way that my youngest who helped me to make my little board that has my words on it. And I basically say, I love you when we're, we're going someplace. We'll just say all the hearts and packs. He creates these, these imaginary packs for different things like the best mom pack or, you know, like when I put my book out, it was like the best author pack or whatever. So all the hearts and packs he has, you know, he's given me all of these packs over the years and I give him packs too. So that's just our weird little special way that we tell each other we love each other several times a day so those are the things that are on my board and with that in mind doing something that has a lot more fun and flow is what i'm going to choose over something that feels like drudgery and like not fun so a book club might be coming it might not we'll see i'm not i'm not committed to it yet and i'd love to hear more interest um or requests for it before I decide to follow through. Because if I do it, it's gonna be amazing and it's gonna be fun, but I'm just not quite ready, I guess. That happens sometimes, right? I have ideas out the wazoo, but the word on my list is also simplicity. So this is not the year that I'm trying to do a million different ideas. This is the year that I'm really streamlining systems. This is the year that I'm going to be spending a heck of a lot more time on Instagram than any other social media platform is what I predict because there's more I can do there like with the AI bot that I'm building and some other things plus I enjoy the platform so it's like again fun flow pleasure I'd rather be on there than on other social media platforms where I have accounts but those will probably be places where I just like ask my team to repost things or whatever and don't really hang out and that's just the way it is because again there's only one of me and i can only really put my time and effort on certain things so for simplicity's sake we've got you know instagram and systems and hopefully before long i'll be able to perhaps get back into some oh this is another thing that i'm doing i'm getting distracted but I implemented a brand new referral program this year. So for those of you who have programs, this might be something that really, you know, suits you, but having done, you know, podcasts for the last th th four years, you know, I've come across a lot of people who are definitely interested in helping to promote what I do and 
whose stuff I'm also interested in promoting and really have some good partnerships there. So this year I decided it was like in November, I said, well, what the heck? You know, I had, I had so much support from people who, you know, kind of did this with me with my book launch. I was like, let's have a referral program for my programs, for people who are bringing clients into my business. So I launched that also. And, you know, I haven't done paid advertising in years and referrals have always brought me the best clients, whether it's a referral of a, you know, a current or previous client of mine recommending a friend or from podcasts or whatever else. So this is a way that I want to keep my organic marketing going and something that you might want to consider too. And it doesn't have to be like super fancy. We don't need to have like links and things in the case of my referral program. They mention a name and I've made it so that the referral partner gets beautifully rewarded. And then the person who is coming to work with me also gets a whole free extra month of coaching calls and like one-on-one -on -one access to me. So it's really, really valuable for them to mention it. And the referral partner gets a great bonus too. So just another thing you might want to be considering if you're, you know, trying to figure out how to get more people into your business or how to do it in a way that's going to be organic and feel good and bring people who are aligned with your mission, you know, and not just like, I mean, we can all find ways to get leads, but we want leads that are good. You know, at the end of the day, I don't offer to work with people who don't light me up and who I'm not interested in spending my time with, because if I'm going to work with people, hours of my time are going to be spent with that person. And I'm very conscious about who I want to give my energy to and who I want to receive the energy of. And I think when you work with people on healing and trauma and issues that are essentially a lot of times negative, you have to be careful of that because not only do I have to protect my energy with the people that I love working with, you know, I have a lot of different rituals and things that I do before I do one on one work so that I can keep my energy separate and protected. But if I'm working with somebody who I don't enjoy or love the energy of, that becomes even harder. So again, keeping things easy, keeping things simple, only working with people who really, really want this and are ready to show up and do the work and get the results because it's so freaking easy when people commit to this. You know, when people are committed to their change, the things I do to help them move that dial so quick and so much. And you know, working with people who are resistant, it's like kind of like, what's the point, really? I mean, why would somebody invest in themselves to stay the same? So I don't remember how I got there. I'm recording this at like, I never record things late at night. It's 9.18 p.m. I'm usually asleep an hour ago. And I realized that I had not recorded an intro for a podcast I did earlier today and that I was still wearing the same shirt. So before I got undressed for the night, I was like, heck, I'm going to go record this podcast while I still look somewhat the same. And then I kind of got into it and I was like, hmm, I kind of want to record another podcast and share about these changes in my business and everything else. So this is this is me very much like in my ADHD realm. You can tell throughout this episode, I've had several times where I've started to talk about something and then I have switched to talk to something else. And that's that. So I, I know I did totally leave you on a point there to tell you about the referral program. Oh, I think I was going to speak to the fact that even if I wanted to do paid ads, I had all this fraud happen on my Facebook ads account last fall. And it's still not resolved. Like trying to work with the Facebook ads people, meta, whatever, it's not an easy process. You know, I've made it my my job to reach out to them like on a bi-weekly basis. And we are no further along on solving this than we were in October. So with that in mind, I was so grateful when my book launched in November that I had amazing friends and people to help support the promotion of my book organically because even if i had wanted to run a paid ad and i did i was like you know what i haven't run a paid ad in a few years let's try it like it's kind of fun for me i think to play around with that kind of stuff and i do actually hope to be able to dabble with paid ads again this year if we can get things worked out with my darn account but 
I don't ever want to have to depend on paid advertising. You know, I want to have, it, it's kind of like anything like with the social media accounts and all of that. It's like, you want to build something that, you know, you can support if it all, you know, crumbles and disappears tomorrow. You know, it's why we love our email list. It's why I love organic marketing. It's why I love networking. It's why I love relationships. It's why I love that this business comes from inside of me and is something that I could recreate anytime. So the beauty of entrepreneurship, right? In a nutshell. So <laughs> that's that. I hope my ramblings have been helpful. And uh, even if they have been all over the place and I appreciate the accountability that you all give me on this podcast. Cause I know once I say it on here, I'm going to do it, that I need to get out there and start, you know, rearranging my, my Instagram aesthetic. Cause I said I was going to do it. I need to get this AI bot working cause I said I was going to do it. And we are all so much more likely to follow through on things that we might procrastinate on or drag our feet or never freaking do because nobody knows but us. So who cares when we tell people? And I know that I, I tell you guys things all the time. And sometimes it's like, I'm going to get it done in a month and it might take me three, but you know what? 80 to 90% of the time, I still get it done. Sometimes things still fall through the cracks. Accountability is not a hundred percent science, but accountability for me is a huge difference maker. And I know it is for my clients too. When, you know, they've got me holding them accountable to listening to their hypnotherapy audios or showing up for their, their sessions or their group calls or whatever else, it makes a huge difference. You know, people fall off the face of the earth and more than that, fall off the face of their goals, aspirations, and dreams without accountability. You know, we will do that like 80% of stuff all day long, you know, that stuff that it's like kind of needs to be done. But honestly, if it didn't get done, life wouldn't change all that much. And that other 20% is where all the change happens. You know, for me, that 20% stuff is the stuff that's going to create those systems this year. It's the stuff that's going to create the consistent income this year. It's the stuff that's going to help me create an amazing community to serve people because that's how it comes, you know, the, the income, the financial success, the abundance comes through service and energetic alignment. And that's what I want. I want to serve people at the highest level I am capable of. And I know the other stuff will come and I can do that so much better with good systems, good accountability and good energy. So with that, I bid you for me, good night. Maybe it's good day, good afternoon, good evening, and I look forward to you coming back for another episode of Becoming More Me. I know you have choices when it comes to the things you listen to. There's countless podcasts out there, and I'm so grateful that you chose to listen to mine today. So thanks so much for tuning in. Thanks for spending some of your precious time with me today. If you loved this episode, please leave a review or simply share it with someone else who would get great benefit from it too. If you share on social media, please tag me so I can personally connect and thank you. Until next time, keep taking bold and brave steps towards becoming more of who you want to be in this world. You are capable, you are worthy, and you are enough. And if your inner critic is still trying to argue with those facts, hit me up. We've got work to do.